A local family wants people to put the guns down. Today, loved ones honored 22 year old Leo Moreno Jr. He and his cousin, they were killed near the Power and Light District this past weekend. 41 Actions reporter Andres Gutierrez talked with the victim's family. Andres. Kevin, his sister told me they were heading to a downtown loft when someone drove up and opened fire. This tragedy, part of the deadly violence that's plaguing Kansas City, Missouri this year. As of tonight, it has ripped apart the families of 99 victims. It was stupid. It was careless. It was devastating. A Saturday afternoon at the Chiefs game, followed by a night out at Power and Light, turned into a nightmare for Elisa Moreno. We went from laughing and dancing and having the time of our lives to within minutes, it was completely over. Her 22 year old brother Leo Moreno Jr. and his cousin Austin Quijas killed in a drive by shooting at 12th and Walnut early Sunday morning. Could never imagine, you know, the pain that he went through, the suffering that he went through for such a great guy that he was. The families are among the latest to be torn apart by gun violence that's gripped Kansas City. You don't need a gun to solve your problem. You just need your words. That Sunday afternoon, two men died in a shooting outside the Brush Creek Community Center. Hours later at 2.30 Monday morning, gunfire at 31st in Kensington took the life of a 36-year-old man. Then Tuesday morning, officers found a 20-year-old man shot dead inside this transitional housing facility in Waldo. I don't even know if it's the guns. I don't know if it's the youth of today just believes that they have to prove something to people. Leo's father told 41 Action News he would bring his son to this American Legion post to keep him away from violence. And on Tuesday night, it's where they held a vigil for the young man who loved his Jeep and family. He had a big heart, and it's not fair that they took him from me. And police have not released a description of the suspect in this case. And while they're still looking into a motive, they have said that this was not a random shooting. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.